I'll never forget one person years ago that we were in my office and praying, and I said, what would you like to pray about? And the person was agitated, the person was shaking, and said, what I really want is peace. I don't know how much they got out of that prayer. Because if you want peace, you have to become peace. For God to get anything to you, God has to get it through you. And in order for God to get it through you, you have to become your prayer. You have to become what you're praying for. And I pray that you do so today. In your free will, which is very misunderstood in Christianity, it means that you have free will to accept or reject. And often we don't realize that we're rejecting something that we speak that we want. But a prayer is not just spoken. It's something that has to be literally at the core of you for you to believe it in not only your thinking, your elementary mind, your human mind, but your whole mind and your feeling. You have to know that you know that you know that you have it right now. In Psalms, it says this. It says, the Lord will work out God's plans for my life, for faithful love. O Lord, you endure forever. Well, are you at peace with the direction of your life? You can be if you truly, I mean now truly, entrust your life to God. When you don't know or when you don't understand God's plans for you, you can rest in the knowledge that God's love for you is absolutely certain. And because God keeps God's promises, you can be sure that God is working in your behalf, even behind the scenes. When you welcome God's love into your heart, your life is going to be absolutely transformed. God's peace will become yours. And then because you possess the gift of peace, you can share that gift naturally with others because you have become your prayer. You literally broadcast it out from you. Today offers yet another opportunity to welcome the Creator into your heart and to share God's good news with the world. And how do you do that? You do that by becoming it, by letting the Christ light shine through you as you. And when you do that, you know that you're making a difference. And when you do that, you realize that you're on the team, on the team of God. And when you do that, you realize that you're saying yes to God in every way. And you're finding that absolute good comes into your life because you're on the right path. I pray for you that this is your day today. I pray that every hour of the day is magical in its spirituality to you, for you and that you're aware of God's good in your life. You're also aware of your action and reaction to that good. You accept it, you realize it's yours now, and that you are a great sample of the great example. I pray that this is true right now in your life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.